Hello everybody, it's Marie here from Pepley Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you all so much for joining me. Today I'm going to show you a card using the Magnolia Blooms stamp set. This is unfortunately retiring, but it does complement the um, Good Morning Magnolia stamp set very nicely. Um, and it has a, a much smaller Magnolia um, image and also a bloom here and a leaf and it's got some also some sentiments here that also complement the Good Morning Magnolia set. This is a beautiful set and I have not taken advantage of it yet so today I'm going to show you a 3D flower using this stamp set and it comes from this um, Experience Creativity brochure and this is aimed at more beginner crafters or those who are just starting out from stamping and it's on page eight to nine and it gives you um, a whole suite number. So for $77.50 you get the stamp set, you get a clear block, you get two stamping spots which is soft suede and mossy meadow. You get some memory Magnolia Lane memories and more card and you also get the snail adhesive. And you can get all of these products for $77.50. So um, <clears throat> this is really good value. But I just purchased the stamp set at the beginning of the year. And I think I included that in my starter kit. So I thought this was well worth it. Um, and as I said, this complements the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set very nicely. So I'm going to feature this uh, stamp set today along with the rectangle stitched dies that's these ones over here these are a must have I think every crafter should have rectangles shapes and the brick and mortar 3d embossing folder as well so we'll get started on the project so you'll need um, some whisper white cardstock this is thick whisper white cardstock and that's half an A4 and I scored it in half again. So I've pre-scored this um, prior to starting filming just to make life easy. And then I have um, a piece of layering whisper white again which will go over the top and I've cut that down so it's a quarter of an inch off the card base and I'll just straighten up the card base because I didn't score it 100% straight <laughs> so I'll fix that up I'll just fix that up in a minute <clears throat> now my voice is a little bit funny because um, as I've said in a previous video I was taking some medication for my medical condition and one of the side effects is giving me um, <coughs> kind of like upper respiratory tract infection uh, symptoms even though I don't have an infection <laughs> so I may cough or get extremely dry and it's un it's the unfortunate side effects of these uh, stupid medications which I'm no longer taking but the effects can last up to a month or more so if you hear me coughing and spluttering during the video my apologies <laughs> so and also I do have construction going on across the road from my place so you may hear trucks and beeps and funny things going on so my apologies in the advance if you're new to my channel and uh, you don't know what's going on <laughs> so what we'll start off with was we'll do some stamping I'm going to be using my stamparatus for that and uh, the reason why I like using it is because I can get uh, things done quickly so we'll have this going this way we're going to stamp this image uh, six times because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this actually I'll stamp it not six times yes I will be stamping it six times sorry about that so that's why the stamp writers will come in very handy so I'm going to pick up that stamp and <clears throat> and I'll stamp that yeah six times so
Okay, so I have stamped this now six times and these will be cut out by hand. Uh, I would have used my Silhouette Cameo but unfortunately my son is using the computer for schoolwork and um, also I have my daughter using her computer and um, my husband's working from home so all of these plans have kind of gone out the window. <laughs> so um, I will be fussy cutting these later. So I'll just put the stamp away because it's now I'll finish stamping this and I'll put my stamp apparatus away as well. So just bear with me. I've got very low battery and uh, I'll need to plug this into the power and I'll be back in a second. Okay, very sorry. <laughs> I'm back now. So what I will do, uh, whilst this is drying off a little bit, because we're going to do some colouring on these images here, I am going to um, emboss this with my... Um, brick and mortar 3D embossing folder. So I will have that going in landscape mode. So I'll just line this up. And that looks lovely. And I'll use my 3D uh, embossing plate, embossing folder plate. And then I'll use it with my Big Shot. Grab that now. Okay, and... Let's see how this embossed. That's embossed gorgeous, love it. And whilst we have the embossing folder out, what I'm going to do is just grab some scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. And we're going to cut out a rectangle stitch die using some Whisper White regular cardstock. So I'll just grab my embossing plate, thin die adapter. And I'll just grab my rectangle stitch die. And I'm going to use, let's see, the third one, I think, from the bottom. Yeah, this one. So that's the third one, uh, the third smallest. So, yep. Pop that in. And I'll have it at an angle. It's a good idea when you put your... Um, these kind of open dies at an angle through and then that way it doesn't warp as much. Okay. And we have now finished embossing that. See, and I love that stitching. So I'll put this away. So I don't forget it. All right, so that's done. So now with this um, image here, as I said, we're going to cut out two magnolias and I will be using my scissors and I'll be doing some fussy cutting. But before I do that, what I would like to do is some coloring so I'm going to be using my uh, watercolor pencils from Faber-Castell you can use any watercolors you like pencils or you can use even blends whatever you wish and the colors I'm using the color I'm using today is like a petal pink so I'll just bring that out Kind of looks like this and I think it'll look beautiful and yes yeah, so I will um, use that and it's just the one color so it'll be easy to blend 
and um, I need to find where my scrap piece of paper went oh yeah there it is so I can scribble with my blender pen so what I will do is I will lower you down so you can have a better look at how I'm coloring and I will explain it to you as I'm going along oh and we also need a yellow um, and the yellow I'm using is um, actually rather than petal pink I'm going to use Calypso coral color uh, but very lightly so I'll be using a so saffron color now colouring in my image so I'm going to pull back a little bit and upon looking at this I'm not 100% happy with these two so what I will probably end up doing is forgetting these two and I'll just concentrate on these two um, anyway what I'll do is I'll cut these out we'll see what will happen with those two I think it'll look nice once we layer it all together so I'm going to cut these out so we'll fast forward all of this these two magnolias and that look absolutely beautiful so if we were to put it in the context of this that looks stunning as is and I want it more 3d like that I think that will look stunning but I'm not happy with the way I colored these I think they look awful <laughs> so what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to stamp and color these again in um, more of a petal pink and a so saffron color and then I'll be back okay so just bear with me okay so what I have done is I have made uh, I've ditched the old coloring this one and I've gone with the more petal pink look and uh, a more a so saffron because the other one was just way too bright which one was it this one here that was way too bright and I wanted it more subtle so that looks more like petal pink and so saffron so to make this flower look more 3d what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out um, certain sections of it so for example I'll be cutting out this section here without the leaves so it's just the petals so I'll just cut that out very quickly it doesn't take very long
of the middle. So now what we're going to do with this is we're going to layer these images on top with dimensionals. So we'll just grab some dimensionals for these two to start off with. So we'll just grab some of those dimensionals. stick it right on top of this little flower there so you have the middle of the flower sticking up and then we can easily just make these stick up like that so that looks more dimensional see that and then we'll do this as well And just kind of um, make the petals flap up a little bit and the leaves as well. Okay, so now we will grab our card base and I'll grab some glue. And I really love the brick uh, embossing folder, brick and mortar. So versatile. You can use it for absolutely any occasion at all whatsoever. And even, you know, it can look elegant as well, which is fantastic. So I'll just put that on there. Okay. And then we have our flowers, which are quite dimensional. So I'll just show you from the side. They look absolutely beautiful. So we'll grab this middle panel here. Now I know I'm leaving it blank because then that gives me the opportunity to use it for another occasion. So what I'll do is I'll just add some glue on the corner here. And I'll just stick my flower there, right on the corner like that. And then I'll do the same on this side here, the opposite side. So I'll make it go more so like that. I don't like that the way I had it initially. Yep, and then I'll do the same here. Whoops. And then I'll stick that on my card in the middle, like so. And I know it's white on white, but because of the texture of the embossing folder, it, you know, you can tell there is a difference, which is nice. I was initially going to colour this panel, but I thought, no, this looks nice as it is on its own. So I'll grab some more dimensionals, and I'll just stick that all up on dimensionals, and it's a really lovely 3D dimensional card, and really elegant as well. So let's pop some there, and here. You don't have to stick as many dimensionals as I am, <laughs> um, but they do come in handy. Gives a nice, nice dimension. And actually, I should put one here in the corner as well. And then I'll put two in the middle, and that will do me. Maybe on either side too, because it will sag otherwise. So there and there. All right. I'm starting to run out of dimensionals, so I better bring some. So I'll just undo all of those backings. Okay, so now I'm just going to stick this in the middle of the card right here. is my finished card for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. I'll just fluff up these little 
petals here in the middle just to give it more dimension and just fluff 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 so that's my finished cut for today you can always add a little um, image there why don't we do that with the Stamparatus just add one right there so I'll bring the Stamparatus out again Um, let me think now. Just like that. Just get my memento and I'll just um, ink up half of that. There we go that's part of the image there so that's all done now really pretty just clean that all up and um, that's my finished card for today I hope you like it if you have any questions at all please don't hesitate to let me know leave a comment below this video or you can go through my online store at pepperyrosepapercrafting.stampinup.net um, and use the contact me section and if you would like to private me, privately message me you may do so through there also you may find um, my Facebook page you can PM me on that as well and you can also leave a comment on my blog if you would like a link to where to buy this stamp because it's not in the annual catalog as I said before this is part of the experience creativity catalog and this is unfortunately uh, retiring so if you would like to have a direct link to this to my online store you can click on my link of my blog and um, and you will find the direct link for this in the product list section which is usually at the end of the uh, blog post so you just scroll down right to the end and um, you can purchase it through them like that way so um, I hope you like this card this is a fantastic stamp set and it's got really three lovely um, sentiments that you can use um, for any occasion so that's why I'm leaving this blank and also I want to show you too that you can use the congratulations on there like that you can use the happy birthday like that or the thank you like that and you can use the Stamparatus afterwards and stamp on it I've done that many times and it works out just fine so um, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you have any questions as I said please don't hesitate to let me know thanks for watching and don't you just love that 3d effect it's not gorgeous and that's the inside of the card thank you so much and I will see you again next time bye mm -hmm.